guys, I'm going to draw a video. As you see, I got the um, Zalman 9500A CPU cooler. Um, I know you're probably asking me why are you doing a review on a cooler that's pretty old. Well, I believe this cooler is still um, very usable. It cools well um, for a lot of, I mean, for AMD, it's pretty good. Uh, I think they, they do have mounting brackets for um, 1366, but this current one does not come with it. So, let's, here's the front of the box. You will see it says Ultra Quiet CPU Cooler, um, compatible with Intel Core 2 Quad Duo, and AMD Socket AM2, which would also work with AM3. Side shows their, uh, it has, let's see, six heat pipes, but they do actually wrap around the whole heat sink. They go around the whole heat sink with the copper fins. So this just shows uh, all the fins and all that. This side shows the uh, weight and all that stuff. You guys can go search that up. We're not really going to go over all that. So let's open the box up. So this I will use my AMD build. It kept my temperatures pretty low, 30 degrees Celsius idle. I really don't remember what the um, load was. So here, this this lights up blue. This is a I believe 90 90 something millimeter fan. I know it's not a 120 or anything. It's a 90 something. I know that, but um, it has lots of uh, heat fins that go all around it. Uh, it has the um, copper. It's made is made of copper. It has the uh, very flat, smooth. Um, Deal, whatever you want to call it, that goes in your CPU. Uh, I don't know if you get the reflection off of it, but there's my there's my finger. Whatever, how people do that. But yeah, anyways, it's it's smooth. But um, next via three pin. So then you have this just runs straight to your fan. But yep, this does it go in your case like this. No, nope, it go in your case like this and this lights up blue. So that's the CPU cooler. Um, the brackets that are included, I have in a plastic baggie right here. Uh, AM2 bracket. I believe this one is the Intel 775 bracket, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> this is a packaging. It also comes with dominant Zalman's uh, fan make control, so you can get to control your uh, voltage through it, and it comes with these adapter cables. So this will plug into here. Your fan would get plugged into here, and this would go to your motherboard or uh, three to Molex connector. I would recommend that, but your motherboard would be fine. And you just mount this to your case, control your fan. Kind of like their uh, Zalman 95 or not for 95. Their something 10 Extreme one cooler. Uh, this is the mounting bracket for AMD, I believe, and this is the black back plate that goes to your back of your motherboard. It also comes with the screws and mounting. This is for AM2, and this is for uh, 775. So basically this cooler is, uh, I'd use it, I'd use it, it cools well enough, I mean, on comparison to the Zygmatek fans, uh, the Zygmatek may cool just a little bit better, but that is due to having push-pull configuration, which you could probably add another fan onto this with some modding. So, yeah, it's just a review on that. Uh, great product. Like I said, the temperatures were 30 degrees Celsius idle. And max overclocked it actually uh, 3.8 gigahertz is what I had that at. It was running, I think, around 60 Celsius. But that was overclocking. So if you didn't have this overclock, I'm sure you would get better results. 
than what I got. Uh, so yeah, that's a review of the Zalman 9500A CPU cooler.